So, hello and good morning. Here is your host, JJ. Welcome to the latest Think Bamboo podcast. We're here today with our special guest directly from Germany, Iraklis. Welcome to the Think Bamboo podcast. Okay. <laughs> hello, JJ. Thank you hello. for having me. Hey, great having you here. It's super exciting. Um, something's going to uh, like something big is happening in in a very few days um, and you're the one who made it happen so I'm, I'm really happy to have you here we're talking about the european bamboo expo in germany dortmund so um, before we go to the main topic let's um dive into your your journey to bamboo Iraklis. maybe you can give some insights here Sure. Yeah. Well, my journey started since uh, the day I'm born, <laughs> because uh, you know my name is uh, Iraklis, which is um, translated in from Greek is Hercules, the but strong man. The strong guy. Yeah. yeah. He, but he was clever too. Okay, that's better even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, my last name, Calavenius, means out of reed or out of bamboo, if you want. Mm, wow, that's really... Yeah. You got it there. <laughs> yes, exactly. So the thing is, at some point, you know, when uh, we start thinking about uh, where I come from, why I'm here, you know, so with 15, 16, you know, where somebody gets also more interested about his roots, uh, where my parents come from and uh, my grandparents and, and all of that. And well, why this name, Calamenius? I mean, uh, out of read, maybe, but started thinking maybe my grandparents or even uh, before uh, they had to do something with the uh, read and uh, because in greece there is a uh, industry about uh, reed not bamboo but uh, reed the reed. mediterranean calamus or uh, they called it also arundo donax mm. and uh, so they use that a lot for furniture umbrellas sun umbrellas sun protection at the beaches and at the hotels and kind of tiki like tiki bars and mm. uh, it's it's used a lot and um so that that was like the first uh, thing that where I come from, where the name comes from, and then um, it kind of continued. Uh, the first contact was then with the bamboo flutes because uh, from instruments, think, like instruments, exactly, like this. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. I okay. was like, I think uh, eight or nine years old when I when my parents got me to music school. Mm. and and i started playing flutes yeah well. okay <laughs> and then at some point at uh, with 15 16 uh, um i i got i don't remember how but somehow i got like a bamboo flute and from india this the side flute what and <laughs> exactly the horizontal yeah and um and i started playing this flute at some point i found some other flutes from uh the Arabic continent, like the Ney flutes, that's also, also in bamboo. Reed. That's also reed. That's oh, mostly reed, reed not reed, bamboo. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, so you know, little by little, I started collecting flutes, and many of those mm. was from bamboo. Mm. So this is kind of how I got into the theme, you know, like yeah. uh, with bamboo, and I liked the material. Mm -hmm. You got uh, like the, aware that it even existed because probably before you were like. What is bamboo, right? Who it, uses it, bamboo? If you're yeah. if you if you don't use it every day, probably you're not aware that there is something like bamboo. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, but the story continues. Then I I start even collecting other music instruments like uh, you know ukulele, guitars out of bamboo, and uh, there's oh. so many instruments out of bamboo, uh, xylophone. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so they're uh, didgeridoos. Ooh, from but that's there, bamboo from Australia or is it like uh well Australia has also bamboo but uh they are also from other countries I have seen like uh, uh in Colombia and uh 
Okay. But <laughs> yeah, the babu is uh, used for a lot of instruments. So that was the first connection, and that was like in my twenties, like okay. uh, you know, twenty years old, twenty one, twenty two. Yeah. In, in those years, I started collecting flutes and music, and then uh, because I'm a musician, this explains also my job because. Um, last uh, over 20 let's say 25 years i'm organizing uh, concerts music mm -hmm. concerts big summer festivals and uh, but not only music but also you know arts theater um, uh, touristic events um, themed events gastronomy events about food and so i have done many kind of events through the last uh, 25 years and not limited to germany you were also in the us right yes i lived in uh i will not say now when from when to when yeah, yeah, but no no no, no. Just... I, I i i i've i'm born in uh, germany from greek parents um uh, i lived in germany altogether maybe 30 years and but i lived another 10 years in greece in my and that uh, where my parents come from so and then i lived also 10 almost 10 years in miami florida so you know my background uh, my uh, my wife is uh, from colombia and uh, so we are moving between the countries like uh, germany greece uh, united states and colombia mm -hmm. and also now this is also very important uh, contact with bamboo because you asked, uh, it it was uh, when I discovered the guadua in uh, in Colombia, and uh, I saw those forests in Colombia, and I, I got so amazed that was like twenty years ago, first time, mm -hmm. twenty two years ago, and uh, that was another step into wow, bamboo. What is this? What kind of material? Everywhere houses you see housing. Uh, being done in in Colombia with uh, bamboo and so many uh, other uh, products from bamboo, and then uh, um, I saw those forests in in the mountains and I got amazed, you know, like how big and how beautiful bamboo is, and also so, by yeah. So so you were like kind of like Christopher Columbus when he first arrived to Latin America and he saw <laughs> this giant grass which was bamboo <laughs> guadua and he thought yeah. like oh if the grass is so tall then the people must be even taller right yeah i don't know if you heard yeah. that story no, <laughs> no like no one of the uh, earliest mention of of bamboo from uh, the um point of view of uh, christopher columbus which was kind of funny too because i mean the europeans didn't have or didn't know about bamboo or had forgotten about bamboo because probably yeah about over asia Probably they have seen they had bamboo, but they were not connected to it. So that's yeah. funny. That's interesting. Yeah, and Latin America, guadua is very strong. Also, I think in the Miami, probably they use a lot of guadua because it's also like uh, strategically uh, near, um, and it's quite strong for a lot of products. And I don't, um, I don't know about any plantations with guadua in uh, Miami. Not I... plantations, but they use like structured um, beams and stuff like that where they glue it together and then they cut yes. it mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, and flooring and, and stuff like Structural that. Structural engineered bamboo. Exactly. Yes. Yes. S S B. Yeah. S B. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah, well, um, also Miami is like the, the capital of Latin America. Yes. Uh, All, the, solo Espanol. Yes. <laughs> Si no hablas español, está jodido. No puedes vivir en, uh, en Miami. Sí. Obvio, obvio. Even New York is like that uh, nowadays, right? I mean, it's it's that's the reality. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> Why not? It's 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 a beautiful language. It's Absolutely. beautiful culture. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and uh, then in Colombia also, I I, I did a few uh, workshops with bamboo. I started uh, making my own flutes uh, oh. with guadua bamboo, but not a very thick one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can stick your head inside. <laughs> but the you know, like five centimeters, three, four centimeters, and uh, I started making, uh, you know, cool. just experimenting around. And, cool. uh, yeah and uh, yeah sure and at some point you know like uh, five years ago and uh, i came to the idea 
well, you know, bamboo, I love it, but it was not part of my job or anything because I was doing the events with the different events, but nothing with bamboo. Mm -hmm. So by figuring out, you know, that bamboo is coming more and more into our lives. Uh, for example, uh, you walk in a, in a supermarket in, in Germany now, for example, or even in Greece or in the United States, and mm -hmm. you find more and more bamboo products. And this came when I uh, got aware about it. I said, well, let's from year to year, I see more bamboo. And then I started hearing here and there things, you know, it's happening and, now. Exactly. Well, you yeah, know, yeah. And I said, well, you know, I'm an opportunist, opportunist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like I always try, you know, to make different kind of events to be on top of the line, you know, to to mm -hmm. to be able to compete with others. And what I also like to do is to to do th different things like things that uh, never have done before. Like, for example, the very first European, European band Expo. Expo. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, but we must say that uh, there was a bamboo summit in 2012 in okay. Europe. Where? In, in Antwerpen. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't know exactly. Uh, I I don't know who put it together and everything. Okay. You know that that yeah. was Jan Jan Oprins with the Juan Gelis and uh, um, the World Bamboo uh, Organization was part of it. And uh, I think it got financed from uh, the University of Antwerpen, but I'm mm. not a hundred percent sure now. Okay. That was 2012. I have feared about. I come in contact with all of those people, like with Jan Oprins, mm -hmm. who is a pioneer in bamboo things, you know, in 30 Absolutely. years. Yeah. And um, I visited him. Uh, we talked about that event and I shared my, uh, you know, idea with them. Uh, you know, what do you, why are you, I think that we, why you didn't keep doing that event? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> yeah, well, it was not the time. Ten years ago, too early. it was not the time. It was kind of too early. It was hmm. uh, not that now it's... Uh, but now is much, the time. Much, now it's <laughs> the time. Now the, we're on the, track. The bamboo industry is growing. You yeah. find more and more products in, um, you know... Um, Everywhere. And in the mindset, I mean, it's it's a lot of a mindset thing, right? People before thought like, yeah, bamboo is in the garden somewhere. It's nice. And that's it. Right. But bamboo is like it's it's the entire universe. This just doesn't stop exactly. on, on yeah. like things for the kitchen or the floor or the house or the cars. Now, even airplanes, they do the outside of the airplanes with bamboo 3D printing. I mean, this is um, super exciting. So In we have incredible. to get yeah. going, Iraqis, because we're talking yeah. a lot like uh, Latinos. Well, we but could talk yes. 10 days about Babu. Right? About, <laughs> but we want to we wanna inform our listeners re regarding um, a lot of things. And we're trying to um, also get anybody on board who doesn't know yet about the upcoming European Bamboo Expo in Dortmund. In uh, like It starts Friday. I mean, this is like almost tomorrow, kind of. It's the 2nd of June. Yeah, for me, it started like two weeks ago because I already, you know, prepare everything for the event. And of course. Uh, I'm receiving packages from all over the world with bamboo wow. products. And uh, yeah, so we are preparing. Yeah, it's in a few days and uh, it's amazing it's because we days. have... <laughs> two days event. It's very packed, right? Two, two days event. Exactly. Yes. But yeah. if, if we count that people will meet the day before and the day after, you know, in the yeah. private settings and uh, to have discussions, B2B meetings and all of that. But uh, yeah, the, the core event is two days mm -hmm. packed with uh, presentations with speakers from all over the world. Uh, exhibitors, we have about 30 exhibitors and uh, over and regarding 30. the speaker, sorry, we have like the creme de la creme of of bamb of the bamboo universe in in one place. I mean, this is like uh, exciting, right? Very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Even more after this uh, pandemic, where everybody was behind the screens, like we are now, we're all going to be in one space physically, being able yeah. to talk with each other, interact like real humans. <laughs> yes, that's very important, and we had many many people asking why you don't do it digitally, why you don't, you know, that we can see. And that's, uh, that's very nice and good and technology, you know, I'm using it a lot, but uh, I'm more old school. 
And I have uh, seen also like uh, researches that have been uh, conducted about, uh, you know, life events and that uh, uh, business deals are happening at life events uh, better, That's... faster. Yeah. You meet the people. It makes uh, sense. It makes exactly. sense. I mean, who would make a, I wouldn't make a deal just online if I can like meet with a person in exactly. real, right? Exactly. <laughs> and the other thing is if we, uh, we would have it online, many people probably would not bother even to come. And, uh, mm -hmm. so life events are deeper or, uh, it's the human connection and we will do some recordings. We have a sponsor, which is called think bamboo. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they will do some recordings and pictures and uh, some interviews so we definitely will have a uh, lots of information online and so people can see what what is happening and to get them uh, going for 2024 because we have already the dates for next wow. year so, so it will be important. yeah yes that's of fantastic. course that's, yeah, a, that's, yeah. that's the German way and, and that's the way we get things done here, right? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can learn a lot from Germans, yeah. you know. <laughs> They're good things. We're, we have good things here, uh, like everywhere. I mean, any place has good things. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> that's the beauty of the, of the world we live in. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so at the event we have, as you said, the creme de la creme and we'll definitely uh, I would like to take few seconds, you know, to say also thank you to our sponsors because they made it possible, you know, people like you that they will come and uh, help us. And, uh, you know, like Bamboo Logic, only more so from Italy, Inbar, Asia, Bamboo Society, Bamboo Spazes, Natpam, Vince Math is coming and uh, he, uh, from, uh, uh, from New York and he will have a workshop. Uh, Forum Nachhaltig Wirtschaften, the media partners, World Bamboo Organization, of course, Bamboo Batu, Frogix. Um, I, I could keep on talking or uh, mentioning names and people and organizations that helped us because I must say uh, there is so much enthusiasm and uh, I got so much help from everybody. And it's about uh, collaboration, right? I mean, Absolutely. Uh, one person alone can just do this much, but people working together can do much more. Yeah, yeah there is an African proverb I love, which is, you know, alone you go fast, but... Uh... Ubuntu, I think it's, it, there is even a book, right? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, alone you go fast, but in, in company you go uh, further. further you know? Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah. well... I think both is good. Sometimes you need to be fast. Sometimes you need to, you know, and... go for long. Yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. For something like that, you know, because we have a business plan for five years for mm -hmm. the European Bamboo Expo. That means that uh, this first year is just the pilot event mm -hmm. where we get information, where we get experience, you know, what uh, we can do better. Uh, what had uh, what was more interesting for people, the speakers, the exhibitors? Yeah, the we'll see. Yeah. But so for a pilot, this is like an amazing setup you've uh, been able to achieve there, to be honest. I mean, uh, it's really going to be packed. It's going to be super interesting. Yeah. We have people yeah. from almost every continent, right? I mean, yes, ab absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Latin 30, America, 35 Africa. countries. Yeah, Australia. Australia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just missed oh, like the 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 Antarctica. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Snyder from Bamboo House is coming wow. from Australia. Wow, and, uh, that's, yeah, I mean, we have like four or five uh, countries from uh, Africa, wow. Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, yes. um, United States, uh, Guatemala. And it's uh, independent event. Colombia. I mean, you, it's totally independent event. I mean, this is also like something, right? <laughs> yes, that's something that needs to be understood because, uh, you know, it's a private risk what is mm -hmm. taken from uh, my company organizing that a big financial risk as well. Mm -hmm. um, shouting out to all the sponsors. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Otherwise, uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, I, I, I learned also that some events need to be canceled like few months ahead if uh, they don't have a you know, they are not supported financially, then you better. But you know, it... I think here, the thing is the sponsors also, they know very well 
that there is this huge opportunity and these opportunities right now. So they are aware of it. They know, hey, we have to be there. There is where the, the things in the world are changing. Prices are skyrocketing of raw materials. Now is a chance for bamboo to really Absolutely. be invested and, and, and to ways to find ways to find business, which business works the way the best to then really mm -hmm. get the thing rolling, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there, there, that's the moment. There is no doubt about it. And uh, the other thing is that I got so many from contacted from so many countries now saying, oh, why you don't do an expo in France? Why you don't do one in Nigeria yeah. and uh, here and there? So you see that uh, it is time for it. And even more because um, sustainability, you know, this is very important since 2000, the, you know, since it, it got, let's say, uh, mentioned, very, on, mentioned, on very exactly, top, yes. exactly, you know, yeah. but uh, for me, that, that was uh, even before that, I, I was course. aware in the 90s that the world is not heading the right direction. And, and bamboo know. being like this beyond sustainable thing, which is like true regenerative because it keeps on growing and growing yes. and grows as fast as no, no yeah. other plant. So one of my partners of the uh, event, but I must say there's it's not only me behind the event. It's mm -hmm. all the people that are participating, of course, exhibitors, the speakers and the sponsors. And um, but there is also bamboo age. It's uh, mm -hmm. this is a architectural uh, agency. Uh, Andreas Pepler is behind of it, and there is an uh, organization called Afits. It's a non-profit organization, and um, Andreas Pepler used to say, uh, "Bamboo is the CO2 killer." <laughs> so that's a big, big uh, thing as well, yeah. right? I Absolutely. Mean, uh, Big with and, carbon yeah. offsets and uh, the whole yeah. thing, you know, bamboo is producing 30% or even more, 35% more oxygen absorbing Absolutely. the same, also more CO2 and fr from the atmosphere. So it's a really CO2 killer and uh, watch out, he's coming. <laughs> he's coming. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> So talking about organizations, we have uh, like 10 minutes left on air. So um, let's um, talk also about your um, additional, one of your additional projects. You have so many there, but let's mention uh, your um, bamboo research and educational uh, project in Greece. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was, uh, yeah, like five years ago when I realized, uh, you know, okay, the bamboo industry is growing in uh, Italy, in France, in Portugal, in Spain, and uh, you have even bamboo in Hungary. I have seen bamboo in Serbia. Yeah, everywhere. Uh, everywhere. So in Europe. And I figured out, well, what's going on in Greece? And I started researching, tried to find people, plantations, and I didn't find any. But little by little, I started... I found some people, you know, that they had, let's say, a few square meters of bamboo and figured out, okay, what kind of bamboo is it? So I started researching. Um, so I found bamboo in many places in Greece, but they had it just in the garden and everything. Say, so, well, I told you I'm an opportunist. <laughs> well, if nobody have done it, then uh, do it. I do it. Exactly. Yeah, but you're a pioneer. That's uh, more of it, I believe. Um, I see that as a traditional pioneer, you know? Because... Yeah, that's the that's, uh, fun uh, in the whole thing, you know? Again, you know, why to do things that uh, others have done if you can do things that um, is, you know, opening, the, paving the way for others? Exactly. Because I'm aware, you know, that uh, whatever we do now in Greece, I probably will not see it, at some, yeah. you know, but... Well, uh, at least I can see some the first forests, you know. Exactly, exactly. And it's still and, the fastest growing plant on the on the planet. I mean, within six years, you'll see you'll see major plants also in Greece. Um, if I recall correctly, you have already planted um, several hectares of of land with bamboo. Yes, in Greece. yes. We you want to share we, some numbers. Yes, we we brought uh, two hectares of land, Ooh. and we created we created a non profit organization called Bamboo Greece. There is okay. also a website about it, bamboogreece.com, and uh, we we have closed the deal right now. I will not talk about maybe in a week at the okay. expo. 
okay. uh, mention names, but uh, I can tell you that the first thousand bamboo mozo plants Ooh. are in the way direction Greece, and they will wow. get into the ground in June this oh, year. You're going to plant those thousand mozo plants on on the two hectare piece of land, or yeah, exactly. And so you're planting this... five hundred per hectare, more or less, or. Uh, so I, I I will need to open the paperwork and see exactly, but I know that the number is thousand bamboos wow. plants. Wow. They're coming, and uh, the idea is that uh, this research center we want to make it like a bamboo camping mm -hmm. or a bamboo resort for tourism, so people can but go people... there, dive into the bamboo forest, learn exactly. about bamboo, start to exactly. love bamboo, and plant more bamboo. <laughs> and live in houses of bamboo, bamboo. so everything will be out of bamboo, yeah. so it will be touristic location, uh, but at the same time, we want to be the Bali of Europe, you know, we want I to... love that, I love yeah. that, yes, we, I mean, the we, Mediterranean we could... is, is like, is a magical place, I mean, a lot of people probably have no clue, but this is like, yeah, I got the perfect climate, you got the perfect sea, you got perfect food, I mean, the food is so healthy, yes. so tasty, uh, absolutely, this is like, this is like, there are no words for, 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 for real. I mean, just think of olive oil and the best that's like Greece, right? I mean, exactly. Uh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Plus, uh, you know, we, we will, um, uh, conduct workshops and introduce, uh, you know, bamboo techniques in, in Greece and to everybody that is working with woodworkers and, uh, also, we have uh, already a few investors that are interested in buying land in Greece. Wow. This wow. is so also this is scaling already. You're, you're exactly. scaling big. And if we, I recall we... also regarding Greece, I think the last one who, who um, like used a lot of woods were like one of the huge Greek civilization, right? With all the shipping and the uh, like, like, what is it like a uh, thousand years ago or so? But then since then, you, you've got like little years ago 3, 000, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, but since then they're like no big forest right they're missing like really like yeah huge we forest. have we have some areas of course with forests and mountains with forests with a lot of forests but uh if you think about greece and the greek islands then you think about stone islands you know with uh, not much green and um huge North potential greece, huge potential, <laughs> huge potential. Ab ab absolutely wow. yes wow. So we have already, you know, investors from all over the world asking and we can help them in finding the right piece, kind of uh, helping in the real estate, you know, so what and we regarding have... the outlook also when they invest X, they you have already like the business plan with, where they can start understanding, oh, this is a long exactly. term and this has potential. So I think exactly. the whole bamboo uh, uh, number is like a, a, a savage number, I think six billion dollars annual um something like that was like the 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 overall world or was it just the us or the world was like a huge number on on just bamboo which i'm sure is yeah totally ignored by uh <laughs> like 99 percent of the people right now well so, we make sure they will know about exactly Iraqis, <laughs> we have four minutes left let's talk about your other project which is the bamboo <laughs> world map Yes. Well, the Bamboo World Map, it's also a web page is called bambooworldmap.net, like networking. Yeah. And on the Bamboo World Map, uh, it started actually um, also like five years ago when, when I started uh, looking for information online about bamboo, because in Greece, you know, the pioneers work there, we need a lot of information. So I started collecting information, web pages. I started making lists with web pages. At some point, I figured out, wow, I have now 500 contacts, 500 web pages, 600, 700. So what to do about, you know? And I'm kind of, you know, my friend, uh, um, I, my name is Hercules, but my favorite uh, Greek god is Hermes. It's Merc Mercury. Mercury, okay, okay. Yeah. Mercury is, you know, the god of bringing the information to people between uh, humans and gods, and mm -hmm. uh, the messenger, so kind the of. messenger. 
Sure, exactly. Yeah. So I said, well, you know, I'm all about networking and sharing. And I said, well, I need to share this information with the world. And that's why I created the Bamboo World Map. Everybody can get on this uh, web page, just Google it. And uh, you will find there over 500 contacts from all over the world. You can um, uh, zoom in into the map and which country are you interested? Israel? Well, there is bamboo in Israel, in Turkey, in Greece, in uh, all over the world, you know, in Africa. So you can zoom in, find the land that you're interested in and find many web pages. With one click, you get on their web page, you can find their contacts. And um, yeah, I had, I had this feeling that I need to share that with the world. And again, uh, it's another thing you pioneered because it didn't exist before and we need it. So well there done. you go. <laughs> <laughs> well done. No, that's really amazing. I mean, it's. I mean, so the, 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 we are really at the at the at the um, place in 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 um, in history where it's taking off now. It's happening now. I mean, we're not just talking about that. It's really happening. It's happening everywhere regarding bamboo, <laughs> and I mean the shift is happening. You know, so yeah. um, this is the bamboo. Uh, time for sure and uh, we are within and this big event now is happening in a very few days so this friday um in dortmund the european bamboo expo we're super pumped and excited um um what else can we say we have um one minute left so um well, goodbye now we need to say goodbye to everybody and hope yes. we see you in dortmund <laughs> exactly exactly um, we see you in Dortmund. We'll be we'll be live on um, obviously um, Twitter and um, Instagram, and um, maybe we'll do um, some uh, YouTube updates too. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, the ones who can't uh, join us in Dortmund, it's um, central in Europe, and um, all the bamboo mines will be there, and we'll sure have a lot of things to share there. Iraklis. Thank you a lot for your time uh, this uh, Sunday. Thank <laughs> you, you too. Very soon. And yes. uh, take care. <laughs> Thank you. See you in Dortmund. See you in Dortmund. Bye, Heraklis. Bye-bye. Thanks. <laughs>